everyone. Thank you for continuing to join us on Go Local Live in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. So Newport Vineyards has live music every Saturday and Sunday and through the summer and through the early fall, which is pretty neat. They also have live music every Wednesday during their Fireside Live Music Series. So uh, one of the bands that will be performing a handful of times over the summer and through the fall is Silver Teeth. So I would like to welcome Bill Bartholomew from Silver Teeth. He's going to chat with us today and then give uh, an acoustic performance for us. Bill, how you doing? I'm fabulous, Mom. How are you today? Good, good. Excellent. It's so good to see you and thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, so the other two members of Silver Teeth are uh, at home watching us today. Yes, potentially. I, that, that, that may be a stretch, but you know, no, they're yeah, there. they're supporting their root beer. I'm gonna have you scoot over sure. just a little bit for us. Um, so, wanted to chat with you, get um, uh, hear a little bit about the background of the band, and then you're going to perform for us today. So, super excited to have you here. Yeah, sure. Well, thanks for having us on, or me on, it, as it is. Um, we're fairly new to Rhode Island as a band. We started the band in Brooklyn and moved up here about a year ago, and we're very excited to play at Newport Vineyards, uh, doing an acoustic duo set. Cool. That, it's really good for the band because we, we come from a real songwriter-oriented tradition, so it's nice to be able to go out and break it back to the roots, if you will, and do that in a, such a beautiful setting as Newport Vineyards. Jeez, no kidding, right? Um, tell me just a little bit about the band, kind of like alternative rock kind of thing. Sure, yeah. It's tough to always, probably the hardest question you can ask. Right, like, wh what do you play, right? <laughs> we like a lot of different music, which is, as we're, we're right now in a real period of writing and we're finding that we don't really know who we are as a, you know, as a genre. We're just doing what we do, I guess. Yeah. Um, it probably would appeal more to fans of alternative rock, indie rock, things like that. Um, fans of maybe folk and just different types of music from that general tree than, say, a classical music fan. But I'm sure there are jazz people out there who come to our gigs and things like that as well. So kind of a diverse sound. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell me just a little bit about your background. You're from Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, and tell me how you guys all met. Well, I moved to Brooklyn from basically from Providence. I was involved with a band called Commas. Uh, that was based in Providence and moved to Brooklyn in 2006. And that band dissolved a little less than a year into the transition. It happens. Um, it happens, it does. But uh, I stuck it out for a while longer, kind of doing my own thing as a solo artist, and slowly but surely uh, started to feel the itch to do another band. And I met Gabriella Hasi uh, in 2010. She moved into the loft that I was living in, which was awesome, kind of convenient for me. This person came in. At first, we didn't like each other. We were kind of, com you know, sort of competitive in a way. Um, eventually, we realized that we could pull our resources together to go busk on the trains to make money. So that's how the band actually started. Was her and I going out and just saying, "Hey, can we pull our material resources and, you know, non-earthly resources to make something happen here?" And slowly but surely, from there, we started writing songs and doing original music together. That's amazing. Yeah. And then where did you find, where did you guys encounter Tom? Where did uh, you jump in the mix? We started to come up to Newport quite a bit. I'd say more than any other time would be about 2012, 13, 14. We started to come back to, I started to come back to Rhode Island, my homeland, and take Gabrielle up here and say, hey, check this place out. It's really beautiful and things like that. But we never really went to Newport. We would just sort of be hanging out as I did when I grew up here mm -hmm. in South County. Uh, and of course in Providence here. And I met uh, this guy, David Passafume, and he's probably out there somewhere. But anyway, he's an amazing character. And I met him and his band Castle, in, uh, as did Gabriella, in New Haven at a show we were each doing. And he said, hey, you should come up to Newport. You know, we have this great community of artists and musicians and sort of ideas oriented, idea oriented people up there. And why don't you come up and check it out? And we wrote, totally amazed when we first got there. And one of those people was Tom. He was already a musician in the scene, uh, more a guitarist, I guess, at the time. And it was just like, let's, let's see what happens. And we started working with him and several other people, and they kind of realized, hey, this is our guy. This is the guy who kind of speaks our language musically from the position of the drums. You know what, I just, I, I've interviewed several musicians, and I just love hearing backstories and love hearing how, um, 
how just people just collaborate without even knowing each other or and how you just come together and find what fits. I just, I love that. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to be willing to experiment. You have to be really willing to take a chance on utter failure, you know, <laughs> as with anything. I mean, it's really, that's, that's a general statement. But, yeah, in music, it's wild because you really can't predict, what, you know, yeah. what a person has to say musically. You know, you can't really tell by someone's abilities, you know, if they're actually going to express in a way that kind of works with what you're thinking or what you're trying to say. That takes time, and it really has, you have to strip away a lot of layers of human condition to get the, you know, just to really open it up. And that's, that's where I think our band's at now. And Rhode Island has been a great place to do that. It's been really comfortable for us to be here in a lot of different senses. That's amazing. Yeah. I love hearing that. That's neat. And it's probably nice for you to be home once again. You know, you, 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 New York. <laughs> New York is so cool in so many ways, but it's probably nice to be home and have that, have that comfort for you. Yeah, it's, it's a little different being in Newport, and that's a really Rhode Island way of saying things, you know, like as if that bridge really divides things. But it kind of does. I feel a lot different um, in Newport than I do in South County, you know, or in Providence. I feel like it is its own little world a bit. Um, but it's good to be back and be around familiar things as well, of course. I love Brooklyn, and it was amazing to be there. And, in fact, I probably would still be there if it weren't for just the nature of capitalism at this point and how real estate in that area has become essentially unaffordable, yeah. you know, just essentially unless you're being backed by a company that's paying your rent, you know, in our neighbor, the neighborhood that we were in anyway. There's very, there's really not a way to stay there, certainly not to stay there and develop a project. So, yeah, exactly. But, you know, it could have gone anywhere. Gabby's from Brazil. Maybe we could have gone there, but we chose Rhode Island, so we're excited about cool. it. Cool. Well, we're glad yeah. you're here. Um, tell me a little bit about, you guys just released not too long ago your EP. Uh, and Tell me a little bit about that, and then you're working on full-length album, right? Yes, that's correct. We released the EP a year ago, right down the street, actually, at Aurora. Cool. Uh, yeah, right down, right down the road. Yeah, and it was, um, it was really well-received, I thought, for sure, for the, for what we were trying to do at that time was to sort of make and establish ourselves as here's three songs of the many songs we've worked on for the last few years and just a little intro, a little hello. Yeah. And I feel like a year later, we're still following up on those that three song release. We're still getting new opportunities for performances or opportunities for media scenarios, things like that, f just from those three songs. Pretty good. So it's been cool. It was really unexpected. We were we didn't necessarily know why we were even releasing it. You know, we didn't have a label. Each copy was burnt on a CDR, and each physical case was a unique hand-drawn illustration by myself or a painting by Gabriella. Wow, that's cool. So it was one at a time, you know, grind it out, all right, sell out, make some more, and we're still printing them. We're still burning them and selling them. You know, and that's that was really cool, like have just that natural kind of supply and demand old scenario. School. Yeah, old school, exactly. It's so old Back school. Pr prior to the invention of the record industry, which is a modern thing that came out of like, I don't know, the 40s or 50s. That's a, that's a just one area of time. I mean, before that, people still sold music as a commodity. So I think we're trying to go back to that with that EP. We're not the first people to do no. this, but of course. But we're we're having a lot of fun with that mentality of like we'll make the art, we'll put it out ourselves, and we'll let our audience enjoy that without really the pressures of you know trying to put out uh, constantly put out a new video and this that and the other. We're really focused on just making the best music we can. And when it's time, we'll put it out. I like that. Um, so with that follow-up question, yes. <laughs> um, do you kind of have a timeline of when you think the, the full-length album will be out? Or you're not really worried about the demand? Yeah, we're, we're on it. Um, it's, tough. it's a tough question to answer as well because there's our team of people on the I just said, oh, we're doing it ourselves in the end. Yeah. Nonetheless, we're still, for the next release, we are trying to expand um, our audience and build our team as uh, as a part of that. So that will impact, of course, how things come out. I would hope by this time next year that record's available in stores worldwide and online and you're hearing it on the radio. Cool. Whatever well, we the love radio that. Is. Uh, so I'm going to step out of the way so we can actually hear what you sound like. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> and again, so you, the Silver Teeth is made up of a trio, um, but so you're kind of 
given a solo acoustic performance. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna step out of the way and because I am not musically talented and have you come on over and step in. What are you gonna sing for us? Uh, this first song I'm gonna sing is called Skeleton Key, and I wrote it on my birthday last year, which is August 6th. Oh, happy come, almost come birthday! On. The Leo Zone. This is, uh, this is how it goes. This is a song that uh, is kind of a, more of an acoustic song that's something like you'd hear us do at Newport Vineyards or you'd hear me playing in, on a train or something like that with Gabriella, you know, and uh, a little different than the band, Silk Teeth, obviously, since the other two aren't here, so. Your eyes are a flower in the winter. They curse me and they bless me just the same. And I'm just finally old enough to realize The pleasure comes from sinking in the pain You walk down Troutman Street the same way Cursing like a fool in the rain Laughing at all of my misdirection Coming down the track Which way do you go when you Like a hotel on the East River The lights up all the alleyways once hit All these stars and bars Lined up against the Broadway strip You must be my one true companion You appreciate me for the work I do Like a Da da da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da da da, la da 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 da. I continue to make my own patterns in and out of each. Song that we uh, we got to record at the Columbus Theater. Familiar with that? Yeah, cool. Yeah, you guys are just amazing theater, place. Uh, we just had a show end there. Of yep, end of June. It was a great experience. Definitely one of the most incredible venues in the United States for sure. Right now, no question about it. It's right down the street here. Everybody should go there and check out 
what they have to offer the community. It's incredible. But this song right here, we actually recorded at the Columbus like four years ago. So it was like oh, our, our first Silver Team's first moment, if you will, in coming up here to Rhode Island was doing this with uh, the guys from the Low Anthem who produced it and, uh, well, engineered it, you know, whatever credit you want to sign them. They were there and we had a great time. They, you know, this was this is what happens, uh, this song. What's it called? This is called Shoes. Shoes, okay. Yep. Come washing, cleansing, thoughts undone, wavering notes from my throat, spaces, places, more and more remote, hours spent, truly free, oversized sweater and her shoes don't fit, a laundry list on Sunday. The shoes, I like that. That's kind of that's catchy. Very I can hear that on the radio all day. Well, I appreciate right? it. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm gonna have that stuck in my head. I'm gonna be like going down the street, oversized sweater. <laughs> that's it. Mission accomplished. Yep, I love that. I love it. it. Um, so thanks so much for joining us. Come back in before sure, so we yep. can say uh, goodbye. So Silver Teeth will be at Newport Vineyards um, coming up soon, July 15th. So that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, then you'll be there um, August 19th, Wednesday, August 30th, and Saturday, September 16th. So you'll be around. We'll be there. Yep. Awesome. Other, you know, other places as well, but those vineyard shows are a really great place to come out and in a beautiful environment here, some acoustic music. We do a lot of Brazilian songs, old originals, oh, cool. folk songs. It's a good time. So. Super fun. And the vineyard's amazing, you know. Yeah, have a glass of wine. Why not, right? Why not? Great. Well, Bill Bartholomew with Silver Teeth, thank you so much for joining.